Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just have a little video for uh, a friend of mine who's Maxine here on YouTube. Um, I think her channel is Maxine Loves Crafts. I, I can't remember, but I'll put her um, link to her channel down below. She's trying to grow her channel and also um, she wanted to know if I could share with her um, how I store my dyes. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be not a very long video, just a real quick tour of my craft room and just letting her see the dyes. Okay. So I'm standing in the doorway and you walk into my room this way. I don't have a very big room, but I have utilized a lot of space and getting creative, you know, creative and um, just using a lot of space um, that I didn't have. <laughs> okay. So Maxine, all right. So these this cabinet here is an Ikea shelf. Um, I have it flipped over on its side um, and it's laying on top of these, which are Michaels and these hold all my wood stamps. Um, and I have them all labeled. They're all divided into like Penny Black, um, Primitive, Garden, Christmas, you name it. So I have these under here. But this up here is how I store my dyes, Maxine. These are refrigerator bins. And at the time when I bought these, I got them at Marshall's. But I know that Tuesday Morning carries these as well. Um, they're very sturdy. They're a thick plastic. Um, only thing is because mine are so heavy with dyes in them, if I was to pull this out, I always support it with my arm underneath. Um, I never just pull it or I'll just pull it out just to, a little bit to go through them, okay? Um, these are laminated pieces of paper that I made with my mink machine and all I did was laminate it and these it'll say party and balloons and so then here in this section would be party and balloons and this is how I store them Maxine um, these pockets are DVD pockets um, from Amazon you can get them in three different sizes these are the medium size I got the small and the extra large and um, they work just as good as the Avery L pockets or any other pockets that I have, you know, had in my in the past. Um, every once in a while, you might get one that splits. So what I do is I always round the corners of my magnets. Okay, so I had a bunch of those um, bins that you put the magnets in and then they go on top of each other. That was just a pain because you had to lift every single one of those magnets every time you wanted something at the bottom. So I decided a few years ago to go this way. And instead of wasting the magnets, what I did was I cut them down. If you can notice, some of you may notice this. This would be half the page and I used those magnets because why, you know, magnets are expensive and, you know, why throw them away? So I put them on magnets in here. I have numbers on the back and alphabets up here, but they are balloons. So then I would um, put them in here. This is the smaller pocket. And I would put your magnet in there and your um, dies. And these are balloons. And then I label them AliExpress Mickey balloons. Okay, I just label where I got them and what they are. And I use the Brother uh, label machine, and I'll show that to you in just a second, okay? So this would be the small, and then, then you got another divider which says memory decks. So then um, these would all be my memory decks. Um, this is uh, KS Craft Bunny memory decks. So that's how these would be in here, and it goes all the way back, and this thing is filled really full sorry about um the shakiness because i'm holding my camera um and then i have room on my shelves these i got at the dollar general they're just those folding things and they were the perfect size to slide in here because you can't get two of these in one so then i have one in extra in every um thing and it has different stuff in it so then here they would be trees landscapes tags, speech balloons, kitchen coffee, uh, nautical. And then over here, what I did was I just put these in here. That says holiday. So this is gonna be every holiday except for Christmas, okay? 
and then I went over here and I did gingerbread and gnomes paper dolls all here and back there is Christmas and I have a loads of Christmas dies and then some of my dies my stamps are really big um like this honeybee um it's a coffee cup that makes a card it's huge so I do keep the cute the real tall stuff in this um some of my Greeting Farm collections are in here. Um, and then, you know, some of the other bigger dies that I have that I can't fit in these plastic things. They're too tall. So I just put them in here and push them in the side. And then on this one, I have uh, words, miscellaneous shapes, circles, squares. I have all the regular um, patterns there. And then in here are slimline slimline dies and um you can find the pockets for slimline dies i got mine i believe i got mine on aliexpress i'm trying to find one for you i'm not sure if i got these on aliexpress or if i got these i think i got them on aliexpress they're pockets for slimline so i have some more of those but i stored them the same way uh let me just pull one out here okay so this is a slimline by Cat Scrappiness, and I put it in this uh, slimline pocket on a magnet, okay? If I can save the packaging and put it in with the um, die, I always do that because and if I ever want to de-stash, I'll have the packaging, okay? So, and then these are all the dies from Scrap Diva. So, this would be the big pockets, and Scrap Diva, some of her sets are really huge, so they fit perfectly in these pockets. And I got these on Amazon as well. And then I label them. Over here is my Lily of the Valley stamps. Um, I just have those stuck in here on the side. Um, and then these are all stamps. And the stamps, I don't use um, magnets, obviously. I just, um, you know, uh, put them in here. Like these aren't even in a pocket. But these are LDRS, and then um, this is Whipper Snapper. So I would just do this. I stamp them out because Whipper Snapper doesn't. You can have the option to buy um, the packaging or buy them unmounted, and I always do this because I can just stamp them on here, and I won't have to pay the extra cost. Um, but yeah, Hello Bluebird, all kinds of different stamps, and then this is what I have left of MFT. I don't have a lot. I do stash a ton at MFT. Here's all my um, Peachy Keens, Penny Black, Whimsy. This is all Diane Markham. Um, you know, that's outside the stamps. The stamp, my wood stamps, the Diane Markham are all right here. Um, this is all paper and, or anything to do with cooking. Cooking and baking. Um, that's what's in there. So that's how I store my dies, Maxine. I hope that helps you. Um, and then I'll just kind of uh, go around here. So this wall on uh, my craft room, I got to back up. I don't know if I can get it all in, um, in frame, okay? So this is the other wall. And I had these cubes from Michael's, their recollections from years ago. So I still have those and I still use them. I have another Ikea up there on its side. And then I have an eight and a half by 11 paper here. Here's some more eight and a half and 11. These are all stamps. I just bought these from Michael's 50% off these storage containers. And then there's um, scrap, uh, not too shabby, um, paper and stamps that I have there. Um, in here is my purple onion. These are random stamps. Now these are stamps that I got that don't go to, they're not a, not a specific company or anything like that. So I just put random and I put them in there. Um, this is all 12 by 12 paper. Those are all house mouse stamps up there. These are Stampin' Up. My, hus my husband made that little shelf for me. It was all Stampin' Up, but I de-stashed. Um, so I just kind of have random stuff up there now. Um, this is all Christmas. And then I have another tower. And this is 12 by 12 paper, um, but this is like, there's down the bottom is Halloween, fall, Christmas, um, specialty papers, gingham papers, things like that. And then over here, I have another uh, tower with wood stamps. And I have a couple up here that wouldn't fit. That's Valentine and baby cards uh, stamps. 
okay and then over here i have some extra buckets these are like background stamps and large um large uh houses like uh, farms and stuff this is all christmas supplies you guys i have more than enough christmas i don't need another christmas thing ever these are all like embellishments and stuff like that all christmas okay um there's my printer right now i'm going through stuff so i've pulled out stuff so um i have a large um what do you call that Oh my God, brain freeze. Big shot, or oh, Sizzix, uh, that's the large one. I don't use it that often, so I keep it over there and I keep it covered. Um, and then my desk kind of just wraps around. Um, it wraps around, I have inks up here, all my Copics, these are Copic refills, and I found that shelf at Hobby Lobby. These are all buttons. Um, let's see, oh, this up here, my husband hung this when I had my craft room down in the basement, I had four of these. And when I came up here, I, I actually moved my room up here because of dust. And we had gotten uh, a wood stove and it just made all my stuff really hot down there. My glue was melting. So I ended up coming up here and I couldn't fit four, but he, he was able to put two up here. And these are like CC Designs, Greeting Farm. Um, there is some La La Land up there, My Creative Time sugar peas exp uh what is that expression something i forgot <laughs> high hopes so these are stamps all up here and then i have punches whatever punches i have left are hanging on the wall i don't use punches that often but those are my favorites that i just can't give up um and then i have for paper for six by six i have this cart and this cart, it came from Ikea, and the baskets came from the Dollar Tree. And this is all my six by six paper. And then down there are some embossing folders. Okay. Under there, I have fabric, um, my cutter, where I can just reach down there and grab it and then use it. Because I usually just sit here and I can use my cutter and then get it off my desk. Um, there's my small big shot. I do have... Um, uh, was gifted to me by Nancy Martinez. She had gifted me a, a Gemini Junior. Right now, it's giving me a hard time. It won't, uh, no matter what the sandwich is, it's not doing enough pressure. So I put it away. Um, but I think I'm going to contact um, Gemini and see if they can do anything about it. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> there's um, River. <laughs> That's where she sleeps when or hangs out when I'm in my craft room. I was just over here crafted a little bit you see my desk is real messy um but there's river there and then harley's right here <laughs> so harley takes up the rug in the back of the back of the room um so anyway uh real quick i'll just show you over here now i have this large cart from michael's i used to keep my beads on it when i de all my beads i decided to put the things that i use most when i'm sitting here at my desk and this can roll out of the way and if i need it i pull it up so it will roll this way and then i have all more stamps and stuff so i have a whole row right there let me move this thing so i can show you so i have all those wood stamps and then you know um the what i just showed you the dies and stuff but i can roll this around whenever i need it um over here i have some sentiment stamps in this little cart things that i use more often um those a couple of those are empty, but some of them have different stuff in them. I don't know. It's maybe, um, I think that is like packing stuff. There's like tape and other stuff like that. There's my uh, boxes for de and stuff. Um, and then in my closet, I have a bunch of these and they're all labeled with what's in them. And those are all wood stamps. And these are wood stamp sets. Um, these are some things I made. My colored pencils are back there. There's some uh, wood veneers back there for Christmas and fall. Um, there's a couple extra storage containers. Um, I try to keep my closet organized as I can uh, because I just can't, I, I can't stand when things are all over the place and I can't find them. So I try to keep everything organized. Um, and then up here is just on top of my shelf. I have some pretties that people have gifted me or made me. I have a couple things that I made like that. That's a Scrap Diva pail. I made that. Um, I can't 
can't remember. I think Gigi might have made, who made this? Some, or did I make this? I think, I think I actually made this. <laughs> That's funny. I think I actually made that. Um, I made the, the cake. Um, that was from Gigi. It was a gift. That is another gift. Um, oh gosh, I can't remember who gave it to me. Um, it might have the name on it. Mm, I think I put the name inside the pocket. Anyway, um, just a bunch of things that make my room look pretty. So, um, but yeah, that's it, Maxine. I hope that helps you. Um, like I said, you can use anything for dividers if you don't have a, a laminating uh, machine. Um, just, just get like some chipboard, um, the box of cereal, um, you know, the cardboard, the box. You can um, glue a piece of white paper to the cardboard and then you can label the, the front of it and you can separate your stuff like that. You don't have to have a laminate machine. Um, I had the machine, so I just decided to do these these um, things like this to separate. Um, but you don't, you don't really have to do that. Um, but, you know, like I said, and you don't have to buy the name brand pockets either. Like, you know, I got all my pockets, most of them from um, Amazon. Um, because, I, you know, you're just paying extra for those pockets. I'm telling you, they're just as good. Uh, if you want the links to the pockets, I can try to find the links and leave them down below in the description box to the pockets that I use, okay? I'll do that for you. But, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I don't know what else to show you um, as far as, like, dyes and stuff. I think that's all. That's the only place I have dyes um, is in those folders. So, all right, you guys. I hope you all have a really nice day. Enjoy your uh, Enjoy it. Um, all this week we're going to be in the eighties. Um, so I'm happy. I can't wait for the nicer weather to come. Um, I kind of like the spring weather and I don't like the fact that we jumped right straight, straight from, um, cold to hot, hot, but you know what? I prefer the hot than the cold. The cold make, makes my bones hurt. So, <laughs> um, husband's talking about moving to Florida. Uh, oh my gosh, that would be so stressful because we'd have to pack everything up in this house and, We'd have to sell this house and then move down there and look for a house in Florida. And I mean, I got family down there and stuff. So certain areas I'd like to be, but the areas that we looked at are very um, expensive. Right now, it's not a buyer's uh, market. It's more of a seller's market. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, in any case, we don't want to move until after Harley's gone. Harley's eight years old now. So um, we're not going to leave until after she's gone because it'd just be that much harder for us to try to move um, with Harley. You know, she's 140 pounds. She's used to this house and her yard. She's been here since she was a pup. So, um, yeah, it's my Harley girl. Harley, Harley, say hi. Doggy, Harley, Harley. She don't want to look. All right, you guys, I hope you have a nice day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.